hey there this is Neil Napier here and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a product launch formula style funnel that Jeff Walker talks about in his training now most of the funnels that you can create within our system are straightforward they're intuitive you know exactly what you're going to get but this one I wanted to do in front of you so you can actually see how to construct this there are many different ways of doing this I'm going to show you the method that works really well for me before I actually get into that I want to point out the one complex page within this system which is this one so I'm on productlaunchclass.com website which is Jeff Walker's website where he's selling product launch formula but this is the page which is like the thank you page where he has some video content available. Now, a product launch formula kind of funnel works in a very simple and straightforward way. First of all, you have an opt-in page and then you have a thank you page, which is basically a collection of four different videos. And then on the fourth video, you drive people to a checkout page, a page where they can buy something from you. So I'm going to show you how to create that kind of funnel right within this platform so let's go to Kaivio and I'm going to set up a new funnel in this case we're going for an opt-in funnel I mean it could be a product launch funnel as well so you can pick that it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day you're going to be adding an opt-in anyway so let's say we have four launch videos we don't need an opt-in confirmation click on next and let's call this PLF funnel so let's go ahead and build our funnel so in this case, quite a few different pre-launch pages or opt-in pages are available. I'm going to pick this one, I think, because it looks the most formal. And you'll see once we load that up. There we go. It's quite a straightforward page with a logo on top and the video where you can introduce the topic, some heading and some other information as well. The pre-launch page, the opt-in page can be done as you want. It's really not important. But what happens when someone opts in? So let's just publish this for now and let's exit out of there so what happens when someone opts in when they opt in you take them to a thank you page the kind that i showed you here where you give them videos one by one now not all the videos are going to be available immediately which is perfectly fine but what is going to happen is that slowly you will unlock all the different videos for them but let's go ahead and pick a template first for this launch video page now remember I used a corporation template before. You can use whichever templates you want. Some of them are fully customizable with the new videos that you can add. Some of them you might have to build from scratch. Again, depends on what templates you use. So let's go ahead and pick this one. And as you will see, we have space for first video over here and then a couple of videos here as well. This could be customized any which way you want. Now, I'm looking at this and I would like to have some additional content here. I would like to rearrange this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in this case, let's see if I can just drag and drop this further up. There we go. Yeah, there we are. So now we have a place for two videos. I don't really need the headline right here. So I'll get rid of it and let me add another column over here. There we go. And perhaps one more. There we go. Let's resize this if we can. Okay. So I like how this is. So I'm just going to duplicate this and drag and drop it here. Duplicate this as well and drag and drop this here. Same thing with these ones. Drag and drop, drag and drop. And same with this one. Here we go. So this is the place. Uh, I, I don't need the menu in this case. So I'm just going to turn off the menu from header. There we are. So in this case, remember, we can now have four videos just like how Jeff Walker is doing. So there's video number one, video number two, video number three and video number four. So let's go ahead and say video three and then put in video number four as well. I can put in some information about these videos. So let's go ahead and put in. So let's say in this case, these are our four videos. I don't need this one, so I'm just going to get rid of these columns and just bring it back out here. There we go. 
and this can go further up here let's get rid of this and usually these kind of comments help if you want to have them in place what i typically do though is i use either discuss or facebook i think facebook is quite good as well so i would recommend using that i would also recommend using facebook comments by actually going to facebook website and getting the html code from there instead of using this one because if you do that you can duplicate that comment section across multiple pages but we're going too much into detail right now now this is video number one this is the video that we are actually playing so before i go any further what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this and i'm going to go ahead and save this as a template because we will use this later and this is very very important so let's go ahead and say neil plf template and you can pick one of the funnel type types this is product launch funnel and this is more of a thank you page i would say so screenshot url we don't have one for now we don't need it let's just save the template okay this is done we'll circle back to this later but this is video number one so let's change it up a little bit this is where your actual video url will go uh, video thumbnail will go you don't need to have an actual video here what you can actually do is you can just drag and drop an image here so a thumbnail of your video you can drag and drop that here and same for video 2 video 3 video 4 in fact do that before you actually save this as a template so now once this is done let's highlight this somehow let's make sure that it stands out there we go so now someone's watching video number one they're on this page and they're going to watch this page you don't need to give anything here you can just say go to video two and again this is when it's actually available then you make this link go live if it's not available that's perfectly fine you can leave this as is you can just say coming soon or if they try and click on it it won't go anywhere because you can make it loop back on itself again so let's go ahead and save this and publish this one as well let's check it out so this is what our page now looks like. Remember, these will all be thumbnails instead of videos. This one will be an actual video though. And if someone clicks here, when the video two is live, you can change the link so it goes to video two page. Now do remember that this is video one. We're going to go back and configure the video two page as well. So this is our launch video number two. I'm going to pick a template. Now remember, we saved a template for us to reuse and you can do that as well. So this is the Neil PLF template. I'm going to choose this one. And again, the whole page loads up for us. So this could be a video number two. As always, make this bold because this is where people are. And they watch that video over here. Video number three, do the same thing. Video four, do the same thing. But remember though, for video number four, the Call to action actually takes people to a checkout page or a sales page because now you're ready to sell. So you say, hey, if you watch all these case studies, if you watch everything I've shown you, you're ready to buy. So this is how easy it is to configure all these pages. Once you've built one, all you have to do is save it as a template and reuse it over and over again because the styling is important. You need to be consistent in how you present this information. So launch video number three, video number four, then you've got the actual sales page and then thank you page for the sales page. This is how easy it is to set up your own funnel for something like a product launch formula sequence and that's possible to do so with Kaivio without too much complication. There are some templates already available within the system, but I would strongly recommend creating your own as well, because if you're looking for style and consistency to match with your brand, then this is how you can make that happen. This is Neil Napier. I hope this video has been useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us underneath this video or get in touch with us at support at